I don't know. I don't watch too many YouTubers. If I, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. I'm not adding to their like weirdly unjustifiable success. I don't know. <laughs> Kardashians famous for fame. Oh my gosh. Don't get me started about Kardashians. It's, I have no words. Unfortunately, you can't make it big in in business in this world without being able to tread off those below you without guilt. You know what? That's right. Uh, just look at Donald Trump. Oh my gosh, Trump, Jesus. Uh, they voted a successful businessman into politics and were then surprised he ran the country like business and didn't care much about the people, just money. That is such a good point. Like, I, um, I don't know if hindsight is 2020 i'll just say that hindsight 2020 he is a businessman he does have a lot of money but i guess i i don't know i don't know if this was foreseeable four years ago um but yeah i'm gonna vote hopefully that will change um all the introverts are in this channel what do you mean you guys are not introverts you guys are chatting so much you guys are not introverts like maybe not based on this chat at least maybe in like real life or whatever but right now i i don't feel like i don't get the impression that you guys are introverts um you guys are very very interactive which i love i just had this conversation with my youtuber friend all these people who act like know-it-alls um want to be internet stars will never understand how how much work it would take to build grow and keep the audience in entertainment you have to earn your accomplishments instead of being handed everything and talked down to the ones that are struggling to make it okay Okay, you're right. Um, so I I feel like it really sucks when you have to step on other people to raise yourself up. Like, think about it. Like, that's so, like, that's such a doggy dog world. Like, why do you have to step on someone in order to be better? Like, why can't you lift other people up? And, you know, honestly, I feel like, oh, sorry. I feel like part of this is, like, a flaw in our education system because we were not really we we didn't grow up um learning to be very collaborative and like lifting people up we're not like hey you know like joe you're struggling let me like share my knowledge with you and lift you up because i know that you're struggling in this class like we were never taught that it's usually like hey how can i pass this class how can i get that a how can i get that internship how can i be successful it's always like you know okay <laughs> unpopular opinion i feel like americans mindsets are very like uh what's the word selfish like people think about themselves a lot whereas in like a lot of asian countries it's not about yourself it's about the community um uh the, because of something you're into uh there always be a hierarchy in the work chain everyone can't be equal you're right ton you're right no not everyone can be equal but i just want it to be so that like everyone has an equal chance, you know? I know that not everyone can be equal, not everyone can be the CEO, not everyone can be like, you know, top up there, but like, I just want it to be that you and me and her and him have the same opportunity to climb up. If we put in work, if we put in effort, like I want it to be, you know, ideally, ideally one of us will be CEO and it's gonna be whoever works hard, right? Hopefully, but sometimes it's about like, you know oh who has the best personality who has the the best networks who knows who who makes like who has a family friend who knows a family friend you know um everyone here is intelligent <laughs> at the bottom of the scroll though. um ryan the kardashians famous for a guy with no nuts <laughs> oh my gosh rome you're funny you're funny uh girls with big butts and a tv show full of slip you know what? You are a poet and you are funny. You're a funny poet. Um, I can't believe someone will be banned from my phone today. I came from a country where seriously everyone has the same opportunity to become whatever you want, but people won't do shit and complains about it not being equal. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Um, do you mind me asking what, like, where you're from? I'm just curious. Uh, I know that some, like, it's not that's not the only issue sometimes people are the issue sometimes people just don't want to put in the work people just don't want to like people are lazy or like whatever sometimes people are the issue like the person who wants to get big and don't want to put in effort sometimes they're the problem okay i didn't know that about sweden that's good like i i didn't know that good fun fact um and complaining isn't gonna get you anywhere ever no matter what area it is like what topic it is i really don't like complainers like complainers are like 
they they kind of bring you down like they they have nothing positive to contribute not nothing to contribute um and they're like they're not only do they have nothing to contribute but they're bringing other people down to their level of like ne negativity um for calling jenner by his body someone got banned for life from twitter by calling jenner by his biological name <laughs> What? Okay, I'm also not on Twitter, so I don't know this. So tell me all of the juicy dramas that happen on Twitter. They got banned for calling Jenner by his biological name. Okay, honestly, I feel like unless they were being intentionally like an asshole about it, like, you know, like maybe it was just like, oh, hey, like this is whatever, his name, whatever. Like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, if it was not intentionally to like cause him like emotional stress, then I think it would be okay. Um,. We get paid to go to university. You get paid to go to school. I just, I just paid for four year, five years of my life, and someone's paying you to get an education. Ton, I am shocked. And you know, Sweden doesn't look like a bad idea. Reach for the top, Bruce Jenner. He changed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know that he changes gender, gender, but um, I didn't realize that, you know, calling him Bruce would result in a ban. Um, unless they were being a total asshole about it, then that makes sense. Um, if you call that, call him that once on Twitter, you'll be banned. Oh, you know, like, I guess, okay, I see both sides because one side is that, oh, you know, that seems kind of dumb. Why are you banning this person from Twitter? The other side is like, hey, you know, like, I don't, I don't, like, who's Bruce? Like, if I'm not Bruce, like, why are you calling me Bruce? It's kind of like not respectful maybe like maybe he went through all that went through so much like mental health strain physical strain uh stress whatever and you're not respectful of his desires so like maybe the issue is like being respectful i don't know um also some jails in sweden are like hotels what at this point i'm thinking of stealing a chocolate bar <laughs> they're just for holiday <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Why is Sweden, why does Sweden sound like such a good place? Like, why? Are we, chat, are we all gonna move to Sweden? Who's booking their plane ticket first? <laughs> we get $450 a month for free and loan of $600 that has no interest to study? What? Okay, pick a date, guys. When are we moving? End of year? Next year? How do you... How do you change history books? He broke Olympic records as a male. Mmm, that's true. You know what? Good point, Ryan. I think if... I guess if something has been said and like printed already, you can't really go back and be like, oh, um, previously known as Bruce Jenner, now known as blank, uh, broke the Olympic record. No, like you can't do that. Um, but maybe like from now on, that will be the standard? I don't know. Um, we pay 30% in taxes, so not really free. Okay, that's a lot of taxes. <laughs> Robert, hooking it up with the plane tickets. Yes. 30% <laughs> in taxes is so much, man. Like, oh my gosh, that's like so much money. If you make a thousand dollars, like you lose 300? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Um, okay, so I can't have it all, but you know what? I, I don't know what's better, 30% in taxes or I don't know, everything just seems so nice, so, so tempting. Uh, I want to go to Sweden, they have such good social programs. Yeah, I feel like Sweden is like, from, okay, so as people who are not from Sweden, I feel like we view Sweden as a really great place. Um, but you're from Sweden and you're saying that like people just complain, they don't do anything, blah, blah, blah. Maybe there's like a, a untold side of Sweden that we don't know about, like a side that's just not so great. A side that is actually like, you know, not not nice, like not great, not not as picturesque as we see Sweden. Um, we're gonna get lit up in this bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never thought about vacationing in Sweden, but you know what? Now that you mention it, <laughs> Think he could break his previous record now as he has lost a few pounds of weight between his legs. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rome. Honestly, I love your sense of humor. <laughs> um, 
a minimum wage is enough to live on uh though in any circumstance even with 30 percent taxes mm, okay okay so i guess that's why people don't have motivation like if you can work at mcdonald's and still live comfortably even with a 30 percent tax like do you just lose motivation in life like do you just not want more is that the problem ton we stuck in the usa <laughs> what do you mean ton isn't stuck in the usa ton is from sweden right right he's gonna be with us ryan i think you're the only one left out um i've lived in a lot of states and seen a lot of homeless yeah homelessness is a big big problem um, and it's kind of crazy that it's such a big problem in the United States like what's supposed to be like the the land of opportunity like that's crazy um, You get help and pay to even look for a job What if I'm jobless? Sweden will help me What? <clears throat> that's wild that is so wild uh, the closer it gets to November, the more I'm preparing to leave the country for something relaxing. Yeah, Robert, you mentioned it. I hope, I hope you find a place that you feel like at peace and you feel right, whether it's right here where you are or it's somewhere else. I went to Australia. They make a lot of money to work at Starbucks in Sydney. What? Really? I 